It's tool time. RV Tech Pro. Got a little haul. Some from Amazon. Some from other places. Some stuff off the truck. Where did I get off the Mack truck? I don't think I got anything off the Mack Tools truck but some flyers this time. All right. I'm going to open these boxes first because I, I don't even know what's in here. I know I ordered a lot of supplies and stuff. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Brass plumbing fittings for a half inch PEX pipe. Super expensive in the store. Buy these off of uh, Amazon. Thunder rolling. More plumbing, half inch. That's just mainly what you're gonna see. These are like uh, knockoff shark bites. Which I don't use a lot. If I gotta pull that out, something's wrong. I'm in trouble. I don't have pipes or something. More brass, 90s, swivels. More plumbing fittings. Throw that down there. So all of this is probably plumbing stuff. Okay. A lot of times, this is what the manufacturer uses. They, they use the, the poly. It's like a plastic. There's a lot of sweat bees out here. You see me jerking a lot. Okay. So that's like close to the, the OM stuff. If I'm having an issue with something freezing, I'll uh, half inch clamp rings. A little smaller than the 17.5s. I have 17 millimeter 17 fives and I got some uh, standard uh, half inch so that they could fit tight, especially when uh, some of those brass fittings fit kind of loose and then some straight fittings here. All right, Let's throw that to the side. Didn't cost that much. You can see the prices right there in the box got a box right here what's in the box box is kind of heavy uh. I'm move these plumbing fittings back since I've already shown you those and th these are pecs compression rings that's what that is Okay, now let's see what's in the box. Let's get you down here. Box, boxes within box. Okay, oh, okay, this is some of my personal hygiene stuff. I order most of my stuff online, guys, and I uh, get really good deals. So this is all different types of soaps and stuff. You know, this Dove soap, this stuff be expensive, but it's, it's super cheap online you get stuff off of amazon you know so that that's what all that is all that's a lot of my personal hygiene products my irish spring love this the original green yeah i'll get that to my wife in a moment all right and if you want me to look through these flyers let me know i'll go through them if you hadn't seen them yet all right so those are a couple of the flyers all right that we got so bogo on the uh, precision torque the larger ones this is the phone case that i use lifetime warranty it's made in china it's extra large you know they have the the larger space in the front for the phone and then they have a place back here you kind of use it for a wallet but because I have two phones, a large one and a small one, an iPhone uh, 7 and an iPhone 14, um, I use it to carry both of my phones. I bought this for a friend of mine, uh, one of my new hires. I had to, I got to the point to where I had to hire a full-time employee and start running payroll. And so I got a couple guys um, that work for me. One is part-time, one is full-time. So uh, I bought this for one of my guys. They're friends of mine, you know. Get through the busy season, 
to see what's up. Then I got some snap-on flyers off of the snap-on truck and some items. All right. So uh, in this, finally, got the uh, the lock key and cylinder set for my toolbox. And uh, I'll have to see if the key is the same one that I have, a K539. If not, that leaves me with one key where I had two, and he'll have to order me another key. So, boom. We got that. It's made in the USA. I got a set of the mountain wrenches. Now, initially, I had ordered these off of the tool truck. You can get these all over the place, Matco, Snapple. Everybody sells them, you know. Some people sell them as their own. Some people will sell them straight up under the uh, the brand. Uh, but they're all coming out of Taiwan. They're made by uh, Cabo Tools out of Taiwan, is what I heard. That they all come out of the same factory uh, for a while. Somebody might have had a like a, a deal that it was only for them. Maybe it was Mountain that first had them, and then after that ran out, they sent them to everybody. I got them because if you remember one of my last videos where I had the long Duratex, I want these for working on that uh, this half inch for that top bolt and slide out motors where the top of the head of the bolt is pressing against the bottom of the floor of the camper. And it's hard to get in there with anything, you know, the ratchets are fat and uh, you can get it without these. This takes a long time. These takes a, uh, it'll be a lot easier, I believe. Okay. So I got those, I got the standard because I work on campers and, and campers use standard guys on most things. All right, so I got from three eighths to three quarter. That's uh, four wrenches, eight sizes. So I'm sure some sizes are skipped or missing, but it's okay. I really just needed the half inch and hey, I'll take the rest of them too. Now, I got these, believe it or not, Home Depot. Home Depot sells these. Now, the mountain wrenches and the mountain brand Home Depot, $135. Uh, this is the standard set, which on the tool truck goes for $200. Not that much off uh, from the price that Home Depot sells them for, but I'm not gonna be using these a whole lot. I really, like I said, I just wanted the half inch one and I'm not gonna be using them for mechanic work, which is normally when you break them and you kind of want to spend the extra $70 to get them off of the tool truck if you're going to plan to do them for uh, mechanic work. And you know that you're going to be using the length for leverage to where you may break them because they break easy. Okay? They're reversible. Slide the pin. Flex head. Full 90s. Okay? Spline drive, so it's supposed to work with everything. Uh, people have mixed feelings about the spline drive. I've had spline drive wrenches before. I, I own a couple of sets of uh, non-ratcheting spline drive wrenches. And uh, they'll be all right for what I, for what I want to use them for and for general, general use. I believe they'll be fine. People have been using these for many, many years, and uh, it's going to work out fine. All right. Now, I also got, a, I was gonna warranty out a snap-on bit. This one is not a snap-on bit. This is just a, uh, I don't know who makes this bit, but it's not a snap-on bit. This one is a snap-on bit, and I buy a lot of snap-on bits, and when they wear out, you can warranty them out. This one bit is like $14, which is, I guess that's not bad for Snap-on. And it is a uh, made in the USA 
snap on part number stamp bit. This is a square number two, what I use the most. Okay. I wanted some triple squares, but he didn't have any, so I ordered that. The set that he has triple squares in is coming in as a blue point. Okay. Side by side with the uh, the non-snap-on. Very similar. Um, I don't even think this one is a blue point, but I do have some blue point bits as well. But I got... I got that. When I find the other Snap-on one, I'll warranty it out. Uh, it's rounded off on the edges now. This is a new pair of pliers from Snap-on. Universal hose ring pliers. Ratcheting. Very important for me that they be ratcheting. As a lever, you can push that down and uh, release the pliers. S swivel the head. So if you're using a spring style or just a hard clip style, you just swivel the head for the type of uh, clip that you're using. And then there you go. I was expecting them to be a little more robust. I was, I was expecting to have a, th a thicker middle right here. Um, I'll see how they work. But yeah, I was expecting for the pliers to be more like the normal pliers with the fat round grips, which would have been awesome. But these are kind of flat you can, you can tell they kind of made this out of a uh, plate steel kind of how tecton makes their wrenches they don't they don't forge them or anything it's just made out of plate steel so i'll see how they hold up i think these are like 85 dollars i have a, a mac version you know Knepex has their version of their like cobras with the uh these ends on them but they're not ratcheting and and i like the ratcheting one because after i get the clamp compressed down to a certain point I want it to stay what I'm not happy about is I want on these style pliers I need them to be able to close all the way I want the ratcheting action to take it to full compression I don't like that that's the that's the farthest it goes you'll have to squeeze it the rest of the way while you're manipulating them but I want them to stay closed like this in the ratcheting position which will would require some more teeth you know what i mean so i think they could have did better on these i'll see how they work snap on went ahead and picked this up it's not made in the usa it's like made in spain so probably some of the baco stuff when they bought that company out goes up to one inch but i always hear a good thing about their adjustable pliers I have some, some El Cheapo ones from Harbor Freight. I'll start using this one as a daily driver. Go in the gas, the gas bag to the gas fittings. Has the teeth in it. Very smooth. I gotta say, I mean, little to no play in these jaws. It's about, and that's the problem I normally have from these or vibrations walk the draw out. I heard these don't do that. And uh, from my first impressions, the quality feels really good. The handle feels good. And uh, the jaw feels very tight. Not, not a lot of play in the mechanism. I also had him to order me some of the wide jaw ones to go a little bigger because some of my uh, gas fittings when working those brass fittings, they, they, they go a little bigger. This, this goes to one inch. So uh, it probably get me by, but the 10 inch pair, they're a little longer. And I went ahead and got the wide jaws just so if I run into something bigger, I have to use them for something else other than uh, gas fittings. And of course, new snap-on flashlights. I got a lot of snap-on flashlights. Some of them aren't that good and I don't use them much. This one stays on the truck. It has some features that I like. But, I couldn't use this as a daily driver because it's too fat. It, it makes too much of a bulge in my pocket. So when I saw this one today, it, it fits the bill because uh, it's slim, square, so it fits in my pocket with my pry bars. There's certain tools that I carry around every day, all day, because they're in my pockets. And it's long enough to where it can bottom out in the pocket and the flashlight's still sticking up right so 
let's get you over to the pocket. So you see, that's what I'm carrying in my pocket. And if I get the marker out of there and I'll slide the, slide my knife over, okay? The fitment of this, when it goes down in my pocket, pretty good. This fits right in there with the rest of this stuff. But I normally I have it over here on this side. Take the plastic off, it's getting in the way. So just a handy, light, rechargeable, USB-C. You got a spotlight, you got a, another light, and uh, the little, it's not super bright. And uh, I, I don't know if the battery's dim or, or what, but it's, it's not really bright at all. And uh, if that becomes an issue, I'll just send it back because uh, the light's not very bright. I didn't really test that out on the uh now the spotlight is a lot brighter than the uh like the uh the cob light here and maybe it has different levels to where you hold it and it, oh yeah it does Woo! oh yeah okay so you gotta you gotta hold the button down it starts off on the lowest setting and if you hold the button down it gets brighter i just got this today i hadn't played with it but yeah there's that light has a rubberized casing you know, Torque Test Channel does uh, testing on the lights for durability, lumens, and all of that if you want to know those specs. And the Snap-on and the Matco lights, they're super tough. They hold up really good, you know, according to Torque Test Channel. And then we have, that's the box that came in. There's your part number right there. And they call it a pin light. And it, it, it actually is, you know, it fits in my pocket really well. That's why I like it. And I got these flyers, but you, you've probably seen some people going through these flyers. Uh, they're not super new. And uh, what's this one? That's some kind of other flyer. I think, I don't know. And then this flyer goes through August. That's great. I like that thing. Wouldn't mind trying out some of the creepers. Well, I got some good tools in here. Might need to go through this one. I hadn't looked at them yet, but I'll probably, I definitely be looking through these tonight. So that's what we got guys. I also got a few more pickups. That's one of them sitting right in front of us. And uh, what it is are the little giant three and two step ladder systems. This is the one that I keep in the back of the truck. And uh, I bought them both because I didn't know what the height would be. I'll do a separate video on the little giant ladders. I buy the little giant ladders. I like them, they're awesome. They've been in the business for a while. And uh, I keep two of the, the 22s up top folded on my rhino racks that I put on the truck. My Yakima for long stock awnings, lumber, because I got this set up to where sheet of plywood fit up there. And then uh, to get those ladders down, I use these little giants. I had another ladder that I was using that I gave to my wife. It was a Warner, uh, really lightweight, but those ladders, ladders are pretty heavy. And uh, I found that I was getting, it was kind of shaky coming down the ladder because I walked down backwards after I get the ladder up in the air and I walked down backwards, so I needed something super sturdy. So I went with these uh, these ladders and I will uh, pull them out and let you see them in another video. I'll do a video about these ladders and I'll let you see how they look and do a, a nice little detailed overview heights and stuff because while I was doing my research for them, nobody was like, giving you the meat and potatoes as far as like, I needed to know how high is the highest step. I wanted to know if I was gonna be able to get on top of the truck and stuff. People weren't showing that. So I ended up buying two ladders and these ladders are not cheap. So I bought them both. And then it turns out that the three step was too short and I had to go with the four step. So the rain's about to come down. I'm gonna get out of here guys. RV Tech Pro, out. <laughs>